If you are trying to draw a line between two or more points in your Unity project, then look no further than this video. You're in the right place. Now sit back, relax, and let me guide you through this process. So here we have two dots, and by the end of this video, after moving them around, they're going to be connected by a line. First things first, we're going to need to create an empty game object to actually draw this line. So I'm just going to call it line renderer. You can call it whatever you want, but line renderer, line, something like that. We're going to add the line renderer component, the hero of this video, the star of the show. You need this and I'm going to try and show you how to work with it today. So obviously you need to set some points for the line renderer to actually have. So just by default, so we can see the line, we can just put it to above and you're going to need to add a material. The material I've chosen is quite helpfully called default line. We can also come over to the side here and play with the width. So you can see it's at one obviously to start with, but if you just drag down on the side, you can lower it. And if you double click somewhere in the middle, you can vary the line width as it goes along. For me though, in this tutorial, we're just going to keep it as a constant line. And about that looks good. Okay, so this class, the line controller, is going to need a reference to two things. One, it's going to need the line renderer because it needs to reference it so it can update its positions every frame. The second thing it's going to need is the actual point to set the line renderer points to. Okay, great. Now we have these variables, we need to actually assign them some values. So for the line renderer, this is very easy. We just need to grab the component of the line render that is on this object. Now for the points that the line renderer is actually going to draw between, we need some sort of function, some way that we can pass that information to the line renderer. So that is just going to take in an array of points and that is just going to store them then in this line controller. Okay, what this function does very simply is it sets the number of points that the line renderer has so it knows how many lines to draw between different points to the length of the array that we're giving it so we're not trying to draw too many or too little points. And then we're going to save the points that we've been given into our private variable here so we can store them and use them in the update function. Speaking of the update function, let's do what we've been trying to do this whole time. Setting uh, the points every frame of the line renderer to the points that we want of the transforms of the dots that we've been given. That wasn't convoluted at all, let's do it. Okay, perfect. This function goes through every single point in the points array that we've stored and assigns it to the points of the line renderer so it can be drawn, perfect. Now, to test if this is working, we're going to need some sort of class that assigns the points to this line renderer. So let's create a testing class now so we can do just that. Now this class for the testing is actually a lot more simple. All we have to do once again is get the dots, the points that we want to draw the lines between and a reference to the line that we want to draw the lines between so we can pass it the points and use the code that we just wrote. So let's do that now. Believe it or not, that's the last step. All we have to do now is go into the inspector, assign that testing class that we just made, the dots that we want to draw the line between and the line, the game object that actually has the line on it. And we're done. Okay, perfect, it works. And as you can see, when I try and move one of these dots around that the line perfectly conforms and matches to where the dot's new position is, so you're always gonna have that seamless effect of having a line between two dots. Now, the way that we've built this means that no matter how many dots you've, you've got, even if you only got one dot, it would look a bit stupid, but it would work all the way up to however many you could possibly think of, as long as you just put them into whatever your version of the testing class is, assigning dots to that line renderer. I'll give you an example here with four or five dots, and you can just move them around as ever you want, and it will work. 